All right. Beautiful day. A little overcast here in Cleveland. First Energy Stadium. Good to have you on, Graham. Sorry, I hope people weren't sitting around all day yesterday waiting. The schedule just did not allow for it to happen. The Cleveland Browns backers golf outing in Columbus was like an eight and a half hour commitment, but it's all right, it was good time. Excellent cause. If you have the ability to support your local Browns backers, I would highly recommend it. They do great work. Let's go McLovin, welcome. All right, we got a tough game again here today. Seattle Seahawks in town. Remember this week six matchup was a really close game. Browns ended up losing that one in real life, 32 to 28. Remember Russell Wilson had a rushing touchdown and then Baker had a rushing touchdown and did like the same Russell Wilson, like dance into the end zone as I recall. So here we are. Phil Nagy, Nagy on sports, our coulda, woulda, shoulda stream. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing popping here. On a Sunday afternoon, Seibert's going to boot the ball away. Again, also just dropped the jersey drop video. Congratulations to Mark Haydu. Mark, if you're on the stream today, congratulations. Big winner of that Jim Brown jersey. So that's not a good way to start. Oh, my gosh, face mask on the kicker. What's going on? That's no good. That's no good at all. Cyber, what are you doing, bro? All right. First and 10 all the way up to the 49 over the 50. For Russell Wilson, you can see he is an X-Factor. Very good player. He's going to go right up the middle. I think that's Chris Carson. No, J.D. McKissick. Oh, because they were in the shotgun. That's why. Third down running back, J.D. McKissick. I feel like we had to play against Chris Carson about four different times in the last three years of our stream and it feels like it's always a different team that he's playing for. Second and three. Going to go fake handoff, pocket collapsing, a little spin move and then he's going to fire left side. He's got his man wide open. That's DK Metcalf down to the 17. 25 yards and a first down. Russell Wilson to DK Metcalf. Huge play there. Down inside the 20 already in two quick plays. Again, the very, very talented Russell Wilson. And this streaky Seahawk offense that goes with him. So again, welcome Phil Nagy Nagy on Sports, our coulda, woulda, shoulda series here. In 2019 with Kevin Stefanski, Joe Woods in their respective schemes. He's gonna go right side, he's gonna grip down. There is Chris Carson, pitch to the right, negative five yards on that run. Nice play there over there on that side. You can see Denzel Ward and company meeting that ball carrier. Bang, just right there. Burnett was also right there. But look at Ward pursue quickly in the run game there. Second and 15 now pushes him back out of the red zone to the 22. Wilson again inside zone to Carson and he's gonna get ripped down. Across the middle there and take him down. They're going to settle for the field goal. So nice little bend, but don't break here for this Joe Woods defense. That kick is up. That kick is good to start this game off. Josh Myers, I believe, is the kicker. Kick coming away. back there, I swear. I have no idea why he can to me back there. There's Baker. Good. 
Baker under center. He's going to get a five step drop. He's going to swing it left side to Chubb out of the backfield. Again, Nick Chubb came back from injury. He did come back. He's going to go left side. Nice catch by Landry, but he's actually going to get one yard. He stretches out that way. Again, throwing the football across the middle into some traffic and is picked. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Tipped and picked by Bobby Wagner. Unreal. Let's do it. Interception, baby, all day. Unreal. This, we are so snake bit right now at this coulda, woulda, shoulda sim season. So back out onto the field are the Seahawks. Turnover for the Browns. Blard. There's a sack. Miles got him around the right side. Sorry about that. Slightly distracted over here. We got it going on. Play there, Miles. What? Blue 15. Check 53. It's our time. It's our time. Good. Play action pressure coming. He's going to go left side. He's got his man. It's a first down. 84 again. Over to the left side. It's a tight end, I think. He's a big, big guy. Oh, that's right, Ed Dixon. Gosh, I forgot about Ed Dixon. You're right, Ron. What happens in Cleveland always happens in Cleveland, in Madden. What's up, Justin? Welcome, Vance. The coulda, woulda, shoulda season. That's right. You guys got it. Unfortunate there after the Miles Garrett sack that the pressure cannot get there. And Russell Wilson, plenty of time to pick apart that Browns defense. A little stretch to the right side. Carson, he's not going to get the corner. Nice job there. Olivier Vernon and Denzel Ward locking down that right side of the Seattle line. What? And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Right, me and you all done. To pass Wilson, he's going across the middle. That's caught, catches it right in front of his other receiver. I think that was maybe supposed to go for Dixon, and Carson just stepped right in front of him and actually kind of took the ball out of his hands. Like he jumped around. Look at this. I think that was maybe supposed to go to Dixon. Carson jumps the route. Welcome, Sean. Go Browns, indeed. Good tackle in the middle by Schobert, but once again here. Uh, Seahawks having no problem getting down deep into Brown's territory. Let's see if we can stiffen again and hold them to another field goal. Right side, and he's going to go back to the middle, and then Sheldon Richardson just pulls him down there. Nice tackle there by Sheldon. Second and goal now from the eight-yard line. I remember, Kevin, they definitely should have. Again, we still thought they were good. Nice play there by Miles coming around the backfield. That's Rashad Penny, the third running back we've already seen in this game. Now third and goal from the seven. Come on, Browns. Bend, but don't break here. Right side, I think he's going to get him. Tackle him. One yard short of the goal line. What a tackle by Burnett. And they are going to stall at the one yard line. Holy smokes, look at this play. I thought for sure they had him tackle, but Mac Wilson took kind of a bad angle, and they are really, really lucky that he went down on the goal line. We did. Oh, yeah, it had bad clock management. It had all kinds of stuff. This was kind of where we were started to be like, uh oh. Like, in the 49ers game, it was just like, oh, my gosh. But then in this game, we are like, maybe Freddie 
isn't a great football coach. All right, Meyer's going to try another one here from about 16 yards, 17 yards, and it's up and it's good. So two, two red zone stops there for the Browns defense. But it would be nice to get some points. Again, if you're just joining us, Baker throwing an interception, of course, on the first drive, because that's what we do here. Actually, it wasn't his fault. It was, I mean, it was, it was kind of his fault, because it was thrown into, like, triple coverage. One guy tipped it, and then the second guy picked it. Yeah, we absolutely need a TD here, Sean. We still have yet to hand the football off to Nick Chubb. Again, I swear this is the exact same scheme and playbook that we used for the last year and a half of our Sims, which culminated in an intercept or an interception. Culminated in a Super Bowl, so I know that we have it. Here's a stretch to the left side with Chubb. He's, hey, surprise, surprise, he's got some room. Left side, go, Chubb, go. To the 40, he's gonna get tackled down at the 42-yard line. 17 yards on first down. Good things happen when you get that kid the football. Let's keep it up. Safansky excited about it as well over there on the sideline. Yeah, we need to get Chubb going for sure, Sean. Again, welcome everybody, Phil Nagy Nagy on sports. Sorry I missed the stream yesterday. I actually played in a Browns backers golf outing just outside of Columbus. And it was like a 12 noon to 8.30 commitment by the time I drove to the course, played, had dinner, raffles, things like that. So I was pretty fried and did not have an opportunity to stream last night. But we're doing week six here today of our coulda, woulda, shoulda, or our CWS, as, uh, as McLevin put it. What would the Browns have looked like had they hired Stefanski and Joe Woods, ultimately, instead of Freddie Kitchens? Ziggy Ansah, there. There goes Choo Choo Chubb. Thank you for clarifying the uh, pronunciation. There's Josh Adams right up the middle on second and 11. He gets nine. Nice play there again, Josh Adams. We picked him up after the initial cut down day at the beginning of the season. Somebody moved, didn't they? Why can't we have nice things? We're welcome, Karen. Go Browns. Browns false start on third and two because third and two isn't hard enough, so now we need third and seven. There's a harder play. Back to pass. Blitz coming late. He's going to fire it across the middle, and it's tipped and could have been picked. It was in the vicinity of Beckham, but Beckham either cut out and was supposed to cut in or what, but that was an incomplete and kind of a gross-looking pass. Look at this. That's even close. Wasn't even close. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Flowers just knocks it to the ground, and Jamie Gillen's going to come out for the first punt. So the Browns cannot get a punt, or cannot get a score, and therefore have to punt out of bounds at the 13 game, Jamie Gillen. Yep. So far, Dinosaur, he is looking like spurts of 2019 Baker. And you're right, View. We absolutely lost this game because Freddie, we turn, turned out, started to show his colors, not equipped to be a real NFL head coach. So far, has been it is has been poor. And again, I just it's hard it's hard for me to comprehend. This is literally the exact same playbook, exact same exact same plays, exact same game plan as we ran for the last season and a half of our future future sims with great success. Now we had better rosters because Kit and I are better GMs than John Dorsey is. <laughs> but, again, in the Madden world where they, you can basically find out what somebody wants for a trade and things like that. That's right. Yep, I agree, Ron. Go, sit, go think about what you've done here. Third and two. Russell Wilson, they're going to get up the middle. McKissick, he's just going to get the first down. He's going to be wrapped down. Again, that's Obi Melifonwu, who we picked up off of free agency when Demarius Randall got hurt and he's going to miss six weeks of football. So Obi Melifon Wu there. Very talented, very, uh, got all the measurables of a good safety. I remember he was kind of a pre-draft hype that year. Uh, he crushed the combine too, as I remember, but clearly somebody not happy with him, so they cut him. And we have the opportunity to use him. Yeah, he has been, I don't know, he's been, he's been streaky for sure. I mean, again, this is the game. Thought he was going to be good. He says, watch out. Got him again. Balls out. Come on. Gosh, how many times have we had that? Freaking Miles Garrett. His 10th sack of the season, at least three strip sacks, and not a single one of them would have ended up in our hands. Remember that first game? He had at least two that Jack Conklin had. 
Look at that. That's another strip sack. And then, whoop, I'll just pick this up because I'm an offensive lineman. Gosh, so unlucky. <laughs> well said, Ron. Maybe he needs some Kenobi skills. So they go backwards, second and 16. Again, Brown's just unlucky getting the strip sack, but can't fall on it. They're going to turn around. They're going to get the football to Chris Carson. He's up the middle. He breaks Joe Schobert's tackle. And then Terrence Mitchell does make the tackle. Now third and 10. Here we go. Come on, Browns. Get off the field. Hey, Kit, that wasn't very long at all. Good job. Good, good parenting. Left side. He's got his man. He's going to get ripped down. Over on the left side, that's Moore with the catch. And then he's going to get knocked down to the ground by Terrence Money Mitchell. Kishin, welcome. Fourth and six, so they're going to punt this one away. So Brown's defense holds again. Actually, have a return set up for once, but it's going to go over his head and kick out at the one. Are you kidding me? Come on. What the heck? Jeez. We're completely snake bit by Madden right now. Miles Garrett strip sack right into an offensive lineman's hands. Baker gets a tipped pass that's picked off. Picker has one of those stupid incompletions that's completely far out of his grasp. The third and two, and then they get a false start. Punt goes out at the one. Everything that can and has gone wrong so far has. The only good thing is that we've at least stalled the Seahawks out in both of their first two drives where they got inside the 10. In fact, to the one once before stalling. It's a big tackle for Bobby Wagner. He's a good player. Welcome, Chris G. Kerry Hyder Jr. And KJ Red, hey Michael Kendricks, remember when he was on our team and then he was going to go to prison and then the, somehow, hey Eric Berry, how is Eric Berry on the Seahawks, what the heck, what sort of shenanigans is this, I hope we will, high formation again, Chubb, angles right side, super lucky that that wasn't a safety, gosh, that would have been a perfect way to end that first quarter of Madnisms with a safety. Sheesh. All right, here we go. Third and ten from the half-inch line. Be smart, Bakes. Across the middle, he's got his man. It's not nearly long enough. Uh, Four-yard gain. He didn't even try to go down. Oh, yes, that's right. Thank you, Ron. Yes, the opening kickoff with a face mask on Austin Seibert that gave them the football in Brown's territory to start with. I had forgotten about that one already. Why not even take a gander past the first down sticks before dumping it off for a four-yard gain to Najoku? Brown's offense is doo-doo right now. Gillen, come on. We need one ripped here. I don't know why he's moving so slow. It is what well, that was strange. That happens sometimes. Ripped down there right away. But at the 39. I'm not sure why he looks like he moves slow, but that some of the players, some of the plays are certainly slower developing. For sure. There is Chris Carson again. I feel like we've played Chris Carson about six times since we've started our Sims on about six different teams. <laughs> He always seems to have good games against us. Oh, nice tackle there, though. Miles Garrett and Obi Melifonwu got up there to make the tackle. They're actually going to give credit to it. Yeah, you're right. They were due to last game, too. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we've had the same playbook for too long again. we got to go in and reshuffle the game plan again or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Here we are. I don't know how smart the system is about scouting you. Across the middle, he's got his man wide open. That's Ed Dixon again, tight end out of Oregon. A second catch, another first down. Seahawks be completing all of their passes. 10 plus yards down the field. Now, finally, a first down run for Chris Carson there. I mean, 
you know, that's, Karen, that's a very good point. I don't, you know, I don't know how much that actually factors into it. And we tried to give him the best possible combination by putting Hubbard on the left side, Batonio on the right side, where the dominant pass rushers seem to be um, on third downs. And then we put Corbett in his left guard, like we give ourselves the best possible line. Greg Robinson is, is a uh, backup now. Come on, rip that football out. Come on, he tried. You're right, Michael, they are a good team. Don't get me wrong. I just. Yeah, somebody moved on that left side. Yeah, we do need a spark for sure. We're not trying to make the playoffs necessarily, Kitchen. We're just sort of trying to prove a theory that they could be better than 6 and 10. Right now, they're halfway there at 3 and 2. I mean, making the playoffs would be awesome. I would definitely send the tape of it to the Haslam's and be like, y'all screwed it up. Stefanski a year earlier, he would have been in the playoffs. And a streak down the middle. DK Metcalf, he's open again. Yeah, we'll see right now in the AFC Central. Just AFC Central, gosh, I'm dating myself. The AFC Central, the AFC North, both the Browns and the Ravens and the Bengals are all tied at three and two at place in the division. So, oh, Kitchen, you're at this game, sweet. It was a pretty darn good game. We should have, could have, we could have, would have, should have won, not just could have, would have, should have in the stream. Come on, defense, let's get a stop. Russell Wilson is way too comfortable back there. Strong eye left side, they're gonna go to Carson. He's gonna get ripped down at the line. Jannard Avery and OB Melifonwu. Yeah, we do need some turnovers. We've had so many pick six. Right up the middle, Carson is gonna get ripped down again. Joe Schubert met him nicely in the hole. Now a third and four. Here we go, Browns. Come on. Five wide out in the pack. Just a wide nine there from the defense. Look how far out Miles is. They're coming. He goes right side. End zone. Caught. Touchdown. Just floated it up there. Nobody got there in time. Why can't we ever do that inside the 10, Browns? Just float a little. Look at that. There's nobody over there. Why is Schobert the closest guy over there? I don't. What is going on? Welcome, 504. Gosh. Sure, yeah, unnecessary timeouts. Get that ball back. Turnovers due. Didn't get one that time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is yeah, what is happening. We need it. Maybe maybe my catchphrase will spark our team here. Defense at this point is just gas. They've been on the field the whole darn first half. Come on, Browns. In the last drive, they started on the one. It's hard to it's hard to give them too much too much crap for being stuck on the one. Yep, you're right. 20 to 16. 20 to 6 before the meltdown. Sheesh. Past the 20 to the 23. It, it does. It does feel like a pretty coached team, just using the zone blocking scheme and Joe Woods' concept. All right, come on, Baker. There's still plenty of time, but you got to start warming up here, buddy. Shotgun inside zone here is Chubb. He's going to run into the line, get pushed forward. He's going to get two. It's fine. Positive yards on first down. Inside zone, he scan off again. Oh, gosh, Bobby Wagner just killed Nick Chubb's face with his elbow. And third and eight, just like that. So here we go. Back to pass, Baker. Pressure coming right up his face, but he's got a man wide open. Not sure why it took him so long to see him. Landry was wide open in the middle and had been for a minute. Baker got drilled as he threw the football. I'm not sure why he waited so long. Watch this hit right as he throws, and Jarvis is wide open in the middle, finally. Finally, a positive play here and a first down and some life. Again, how is Eric Berry on this football team? What the heck? You're not ready. You're not 
All right, tight eye formation. They're going to go seven-step drop out of it, though. He's got man over the middle. He's got Najoku first down again. Two first downs in a row. Baker with his best two passes of the game consecutively there. 12-yarder for Najoku, first down. Now they go. Chubb, he's going to get wrapped around from the back side. Oh, gosh. He's hurt again. What? How does this keep happening? Just be on the sideline, please, Nick Chubb. Please. All right, he's just on the sideline. That means he's coming back in the game. Gosh. I swear Nick Chubb is not Mr. Glass. I guess I should go see what his injury rating is or something. I feel like he's always getting nicked. One-handed get on the across the middle. Jeez, that should have been picked. It's like KJ Wright was running that route for Beckham. Third and nine. Come on, Bakes. Pressure coming. He goes across the middle. He's got his man. This time it is Landry, or excuse me, Najoku. That looked like Landry. He just looked fast there. David Najoku, third catch. Again, of course, David Najoku all in, back in with the Browns. After a very quick conversation with the GM and the coach. In real life, of course, which is just so funny. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't listen to your dope of an agent. Yeah, he is always, Nick is always getting nicked in, in Madden. I don't understand it here. 13 personnel. That's Josh Adams in the football game. He's going to pass out of it, though. He's got his man. That's DeVal. Go. Seth DeVal is going to get about five, maybe six yards on the little drag route from left to right again out of that three tight end personnel. Back to pass, Chubb. Chubb pass. Baker, he's got, he's got the backside of that three-man the farthest left part of that three-man bunch. The Joku's fourth catch, first down. Here we go, first and goal from the five. Goal line formation. They're going to stretch it right side. Chubb's back in the game, and he's got a touchdown. Browns. Let's go. Chubb came right back in the game and a nice five-yard run. Leaps in from the goal. I think he was already in when he leaped. Look at that. Insult to injury, leaping in from the negative one yard line. Uh, I don't actually have a memory of seeing the clip, um, Kishin, but I don't feel the need to do so. All right. Well, glad that injury was short lived for Chubb. He came right back on the field, pounds it in. So the Browns do answer the first Seattle touchdown with a touchdown of their own. That looked like a much better drive. Oh, gosh, Alex Smith ugly. Yeah, no thanks. I don't need to see that. Yeah, three and out would be good. Pick six would be good. We've had a decent amount. Again, we've had like five as a team already in the first five weeks. Let's get another one here. I guess he removed it from his memory. There's McKissick left side. Nice tackle in space. Christian Kirksey. And Ogan Joby chased him down as well. Five yards. Could have been, could have been uh, more than that. Thank you, Kishan, for being done. Left side again. Carson's going to get ripped down. Miles Garrett, he's been really good today in run defense and, of course, has that uh, two sacks already today as well. Again, one of them a strip sack that was not. Look at his back of his arms. Holy smokes. His arms are like tree trunks. Got triceps for days back there, too. All right, third and six. Come on, defense. Let's get off the field here. Wilson out of the shotgun. He's got time. He's going to go left side. He's got his man, and he can't knock it out. That ball was high to Tyler Lockett, and I thought Greedy was going to be able to knock that football out, but he cannot. Tyler Lockett's first catch. <laughs> Kishin. I did not go skydiving before today's sim. I did not sim yesterday because I was playing in a Cleveland Browns backers golf outing all day, but so I did not have time to see him yesterday. We had a good time raising money. 
if you have the opportunity to plug into your local Browns backers, man, they do a lot of cool stuff with their charities and they raise a lot of money for a lot of good things. So there was 120 of us out on the golf course yesterday. Um, a lot, there were a lot of barking at the golf course yesterday. Um, and actually won a sweet Cleveland Browns golf bag, so that was really fun. Also, if you haven't checked out the earlier video, congratulations to Mark. I don't think Mark's on the stream today. Mark won the Jim Brown jersey in the drawing. So that's exciting for him. We've got our next drawing item we're going to talk about here in the next day or so. Pretty excited. Two-minute warning, second and one here. Left side, knocked. Oh, we thought he was going to knock it away. Greedy, I thought he could knock that football away. Tyler Lockett again. I'm trying to. I'm trying, McLovin, to live my best life. Uh, as a, our, It was a scramble, so we our team shot a 60, 12 under par. Uh, but the winning team shot 52, which is stupid, 20 under par. And they won the golf tournament. Or, uh, the, the screen goal. Oh, nice catch by DJ Metcalf, but he's actually going to go backwards on it. But uh, we had a good, we had a good, good time. I played with a, good, a very good Browns friend, fr Browns fan friend of mine. So we had a good time. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, the Joe Theismann one is as bad as it gets, and now yeah, that is crazy to to see that Alex Smith. As the Redskins quarterback had the same it, had the same uh, exact injury in the same exact spot. I did not know that actually. If you, the more you know. All right, Josh Myers. Let's. He's going to attempt a long one here. It's going to be about a 52-yarder towards the dog pound. Let's go. Come on. Let's get some pressure. That looks short. It is very short. So the Browns are going to get excellent field position here from the 42. 50 seconds left. Two timeouts. Welcome, Wendell. That was a good stop, kid. I agree. Didn't didn't uh, bend, but didn't take so long before they stopped not breaking. Or however that works, bend but don't break. But then they didn't break as late as they often do. All right, here we go. He's <laughs> walking around with our leather window. Deep across the middle, he took a lot of time. He got hit really hard, but Beckham held, holds on to the football down to the 46. Play took six seconds, and they took a timeout immediately, 12 yards on that dig route from left to right. He's got time. I was going to say, there's Njoku, and he airmails it. Completely unnecessary. You see him running that route. Give it to him sooner. Threw it late and overthrown. It's coming. He's going to throw it. It's knocked away. Look at KJ Wright get way up in the air. Chubb was there blocking him, but KJ just jumped right into that throwing pattern. They're throwing lane, rather, disrupting the pass. Now they're going to rush four. He's got time. He's going to check it down to Chubb. He's going to be short. And they got down to the 40. Look, my guess is they'll just let this thing run down. Seahawks not calling timeout. 57 is too much for Seibert. I would just heave it for the end zone once use my last time out good tackle there by KJ Wright so he really disrupted that drive KJ Wright did batting down the second down pass oh they're going to try the 57 yarder I mean he's got it was actually a little closer than I thought it was going to be to end the half here we go here we go here we go But this is, this is when they thought he was going to be good. Like, he was an 83 out of the box. They say he's going to be a 78 out of the box in the new game. This was before he got crazy nerfed. They thought he was going to be great. They thought the Browns were going to be really great. They were like Super Bowl dark horses to start this season. That's the rosters that we're playing with. I mean, we're an 83 rated roster. The Seahawks are an 81 rated roster. So, I don't think they got him nerfed for like crazy. I just... Not sure what's going on. Speaking of Alex Smith, he is still in this game, and he's his Redskins are three and two. Kirk Cousins. 
Ooh, excuse me. All right, we're about ready to start the second half here again. Phil Nagy, Nagy on Sports. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday here in our week six of our coulda, woulda, shoulda stream series. Playing the 2019 Browns schedule with Kevin Stefanski and Joe Woods and their, their respective schemes and playbooks as best we can figure. Current Browns are three and two in real life at this time. They were two and three and go on to lose this week's six matchup 32 to 28 after falling apart in the second half. So let's hope it's the Seahawks that fall apart in the second half here today in our coulda, woulda, shoulda stream series. Baker Mayfield in the shotgun to start the second half. Go Browns. Back up in motion. Back to pass. He's going to go left side. Actually, a nice little anger, uh, a uh, wheel route on the left side after Beckham took the um, defender out of the way. That was nice. Right up the middle there, Chubb. First down. Good run there. Just keep that going. There's nothing wrong. Two two touches for Chubb to start this half. That was a really nice wheel route or uh, wheel route there that was right into that space that Beckham vacated. That was a nice play call. Bigger seven step drop this time. Gonna fire it right side late tipped. Cool should have been picked by Bradley McDougal. He got mega lucky on that one. Baker just needed to throw that one. I was hoping he was actually throwing that one away. Second and ten. He's back to pass again. He's going to fire over the middle this time. He's got his man into the gap. That's Noah Brown actually picked him up when Richard Higgins got hurt. Noah Brown off the Cowboys practice squad from the Ohio State University. He was the highest rated receiver available in free agency. We did get rid of the long breaking routes, or the times, the ones that take a long time to develop. And we had like, there was like 75 four verticals. So we took that down to like 25 four vertical patterns. Chubb just dancing in the hole, just run baby. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of like, basically everybody run deep patterns in there. And we took a lot of them out. Left side, he's got his man. Speaking of everybody running deep, touchdown, Beckham. Let's go. Nice play there. Caught him in a bad coverage. Beckham went long as right as we were talking about it. Gets behind Flowers and McDougal. Let's go. Touchdown, Browns. Baker threw a nice pass there. Beckham with a great catch. Yeah, that looks a little bit better indeed. Touchdown, Browns. An extra point away from taking the lead. Really nice first drive of the half. He was dancing on top of that dude. <laughs> it's, it reminds me of, like, old school, like, killing a guy in Halo and then, like, going over and, like, humping his face after you've killed him. Oh, of course. Of course, Madden. Why not? Come on, Ricky Seals Jones. Why can't we have nice things, Madden? Well, so much for our one point lead. Now we're down two. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ricky Seals Jones, he tried his best. Eric Berry, somehow on this Seahawks team. It is just not fair. It's number eight. It's illegal to have a number eight. That's not a quarterback. All right, well, hey, two points and you can have the ball just for fun. Just feels so much like real funny. It really does. Just like totally snake bit. Especially this, especially the 2019 season. It just felt like. We're constantly waiting for like the other shoes, especially with how many penalties they had and stuff. It was just like you knew. You knew. Yeah, they are. Apparently they're mad. I don't know what we did to offend them. Win the Super Bowl, I guess, in 2022. That's what we did to piss them off, I guess. 
All right, play action. Blitz coming from Greedy. He's going to go way down the field to the man that Greedy may have been supposed to be covering. Actually, that's Ed Dixon, the tight end. I just locked it. We're still at the bottom of the screen, but not the best play to run a... I don't know why we run those corner blitzes from so far away. They never get there. Now, I guess suppose if you're running that direction, they're a good play, but I don't like them on. Look at that. Christian Kirksey just beat, just whipped there. No chance of staying with Ed Dixon down the seam. First down, Seahawks into Brown's territory now from the 39 here. First and 10. They have a two-point lead after the run back. Blocked extra point by Eric Berry a moment ago. Tackle there. I think we are better when we blitz from the slot. I agree, Sean. Or just I don't have to blitz much at all. Just let the front four do their job. That one, though, maybe you want to cover him. That's an easy first down. But Nick Vanette. Will Disley, sorry, even that might be so 88, Will Disley. Chris Carson's jamming in the hole. That was lucky to not be a course caller. <laughs> maybe, maybe view, maybe that's it. Come on, rip that ball out. Schobert with a nice tackle of McKissick. Going to be a third and short here inside the red zone now. The 17. Come on, Browns. Hey, somebody moved again. We'll take it. Start offense. We'll take that action. Third and eight now out of the shotgun. Browns look like they're in their base. Nickel. Back to pass. Russell Wilson is going to dump it off to McKissick, and he's going to be hit down very quickly by Mac Wilson. Nice play there. And they hold him. So the Browns hold again. Now this is three red zone drives by the Seahawks that are going to end with a field goal attempt. Nice job by the Browns defense once again. Really nice tackle in space there by Mac Wilson who plays in that base nickel package because he's a better uh, cover guy than Kirksey. And we wanted to get him some love. Myers' his third field goal from the red zone is up and it's good. 18-13. Three field goals. And a touchdown and the equivalent of a two point conversion. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go, Baker, indeed. All right. 18 13, plenty of time. Plenty of time. 13 to 19, a buck 62. Did have that touchdown on the last drive, of course, and then the interception on the second play of the game. First play of the game? Second play of the game, I think. Across the middle, he's got a wide open Ricky Seals-Jones. I was about to say we haven't seen Seals-Jones in a couple of weeks. He was really good against the Ravens. Not as nearly as part of the offense in San Francisco in that pretty big loss that we suffered just like they actually suffered. Nice play there. Seals Jones down the scene, five step drop, Baker decisive, throws a little bit behind him. Seals Jones, you can out, Bradley McDougal. Before being taken down by Flowers, here we go, come on. Let's go Browns, first down to the 44 now. 19 yards was that catch to RSJ. Inside zone scheme. He's going to go all, excuse me, outside zone scheme and dives forward for five. Bobby Wagner ran that line of scrimmage with him. And he just got around him for five yards. Bobby Wagner, probably the best middle linebacker in the game. Whoop, breaks the tackle that time of, of Bobby Wagner, but can't get much further than that. Josh Adams, they're going to give him a gain of zero. Three receivers left. Njoku on the long to the right. It's coming. They're going to go. He's got him again. Beckham first down. So they pressed like crazy, and Beckham ran a go route from that middle of the three receivers. Nobody getting close to him. Beckham, he's got to be getting into the zone soon. Two 20-yard catches, right? He's got to be there.
Really nice play there. Is he in the zone? I don't know. He's not on the. He's got subbed out. He's not on the screen right now. Not in the game right now. Baker spinning. And he threw it away. Actually had a man. He didn't need to throw it away, but he did throw it away, and I'm okay with that because usually we see the old spin and sack. That time we actually saw the spin and throw away. How is, how is Beckham not in the zone there? It's Chubb right up the middle. Ball's out. Looks like he falls under. Where's the ball? Come on. Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? He fumbles it. He rolls on it. Three other dudes touch it, and then finally a Seahawk gets on the football. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's down at least, right? His knees have got to be down. Look at that. What is what is happening here? Please review this. Oh, yeah, he's 100%. That left knee is mega down. Come on, Booth. Come on, Booth. Do the right thing. Do we have fumble recovery turned down? I don't think it's an individual slider. What? No review? Are you kidding me? Unreal. Unfreaking believable. How is that not going to get challenged? How's Madden trying to have the Browns challenge a bad fourth down call, but they're not going to have the Browns challenge that? That was horrible. Man, snake bit today. Maddened. What? It is maddening to get maddened. He doesn't. He doesn't. You're right. Good tackle there by Miles Garrett. Morgan Burnett also over there. Third and seven. Come on. Come on. Get after him. Back to pass. Left side. It's short of the line, but then he does spin, and he's going to get the first down. Tyler Lockett. Greedy Williams just a pinch late getting over there. And Tyler Lockett was able to stick his foot in the ground and head up the field. Yep, I'm with you. I'm with you on all that. Actually going to say Obi Melifonu got over there faster than Greedy Williams did. First down, Seahawks. To pass Wilson. He's going to go across the middle. It's caught. Kind of a dangerous pass there as Schobert brings him down. Look at that, 20 of 21 for 206. All he's been doing is checking down and throwing dudes wide open and down the middle of the field. I just, ugh, frustrating how other teams' quarterbacks are so efficient and our quarterback is so efficient. And again, Russell Wilson, I guess you could argue that, like, yeah, he's that good and the game hasn't rated that highest, but, like, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Mark Jackson, Josh Rosen. Like, those guys shouldn't be throwing 19 of 21 against us. No pressure coming. He's going to heave it deep down the right side, and it's tipped. Of course we can't buy a pick. It was right in his hands. Right in his hands. I think that was greedy. Just hit him right in the hands, bounces to the turf. And, of course, first down on third and five. Their slant patterns on third down get first downs every time, though. Is that John Brown, the Revelator, before he goes to Buffalo? Uh, frustrating. This team is frustrating. This feels a lot more like being a Browns fan. When we were going 13-3 and three and winning Super Bowls, life was so much more fun. That's the jet sweep to John Brown. He's going to get around the outside. That was a mega hold against Miles Garrett, uncalled. He was just mugged completely. Unfair. This is brutal. Back to pass, across the middle to a wide open receiver who spins forward after he gets hit. Will Disley, first and 10, Seahawks. I feel like a broken record here. Right up the middle, Chris Carson, of course, first down. Yeah, he did. He did, Sean. This is brutal. What is going on? What is happening? Why does Madden hate us, hate this roster? Both the Seahawks and the 49ers were a less rated team 
than the Browns. The Browns overall rating is an 83. Those teams were 82 and 81, respectively. Something like that. Good fill there from Joe Schobert. Going to knock him down. That could be the last play of the third quarter unless they choose to run another one here. Six seconds left. Five seconds. Shotgun formation. Two, one. Not going to get it off. End of the third quarter here. Welcome 1985. They're not playing super well right now. I mean, they're bending but not breaking. I will give them that. They only gave up the one touchdown. They've settled. They've held the, helped the Seahawks settle for three red zone field goals. Maybe another one here upcoming. Second and ten. They're already at the 27. Browns rushing three miles. Coming. He's going to get it off to a wide open man who breaks two tackles. And then probably should have gotten a face mask called McDougald or uh, McDougald. Obi Melifonwu. McDougald is their number 30, not our number 30. Tyler Lockett slippery over there on that left side. Right now they suit him to be. James, which is pretty awesome because we get to play the rest of the division <laughs> still later. We've already played the Rams. We've already played the Seahawks. We've still got the Cardinals coming up later in the season. All right, 18-13. Here we go. Come on, Browns. Stiffen up here, boys. Inside handoff. Ripped down immediately there. Sheldon Richardson. They go backwards there, three yards. J.D. McKissick hit hard there by Richardson. Man, I hope Sheldon Richardson could be good this year. He still feels like the one free agent that we paid a lot of money for who's on the roster who's really kind of yet to, yet to show us that it was worth it. If not, he's going to be gone, would be my guess. And Vernon, I think they're probably both gone after this year, would be my guess. Carson ripped down by Christian Kirksey is going to get six before he's ripped down third and six they can't still get a first down I hope he does Sean I hope he does Billings Elliott Ogan Joby touchdown again more right across the middle wide open we can't complete that pass but they get to complete it every time touchdown Seahawks more again what kind of a dance is that dude <laughs> need anything from the store <laughs> Wendell's still doing his shopping probably that's true yep right straight you Adrian Claiborne I was specifically speaking about defensive tackle. I know Claiborne plays inside and outside, but I think he'll probably play more on the outside with those four players we just talked about, Richardson, Billings, Okunjobi, and Jordan Elliott. Claiborne's going to be like that next guy that comes in after Vernon and, and Miles Garrett, or maybe he'll come in and they'll move Miles inside next to Okunjobi or something. That would be fun. Taken down at the 26-yard line, 25 to 13. Browns trying to beat the Seahawks and Madden here so far in this game. Beckham's had a pretty solid game. Need a little bit more of it here. Got to get some. Got to get a touchdown here. No, they don't love us at all. This game in particular feels like it's been all of the bad things that could happen. Baker left side caught. Steps up field. First down there. That's Jarvis Landry. Gonna get about 11 up to the 36. First down, Browns. Browns versus the world. Absolutely. Across the middle, he's got his man, and then of course it's knocked away. That was Jarvis Landry, one of the highest catch ratings in the game, but he can't catch that football. If he was wearing white and blue and neon green, he would have though. Just waiting for that thing to get tipped again. Third and ten already. There's our slant routes are not effective. Right side to a slant route. Hey, look, he only got eight instead of twelve because it's the Browns. Taywan Taylor, excuse me, seven. Sorry, sorry about that. Super frustrating. 
Taewon Taylor, kind of a nice catch, but Canada was just, or uh, Griffin was just riding him the whole time. I wish we could force him to do that, Karen. Look at that, 14 to 26. We're still throwing the ball way, way, way too much. Still plenty of time to run the football. Gillen just kind of blast this thing out of the back of the end zone. He's pissed. I don't blame you, Jamie. I'm pissed too, buddy. 11:31. Look at that, 24 to 26. You gotta be kidding me. Two tight ends on the left side. Looks like McKissick in the backfield with Russell Wilson, 11.31 to play. He's back to pass, he's gonna fire it right side. He's got his man, that's Metcalf, he can burn, he's probably gone. Combine superstar DK Metcalf, touchdown Seahawks. Well, 80 yards, yeah, or the opposite kit. A one play 80 yard touchdown to DK Metcalf, who the game thought was probably gonna be better than he ended up being until the rest of the year, but he is fast, we know that, at straight line speed. And he runs it out and up, and Greedy Williams, oh, got totally turned around on his cut, and that was it. See ya. That's ah, par for the course on this one, I'm afraid. I'm not surprised, McLovin. This game's had it out for us since the beginning. We suck right now at football. The Browns suck right now at football. I, I think he might be. I don't know. I mean, DK was like a 4-3 guy. I don't think Greedy's a 4-3 guy. 32-13. to 13. Well, at least it's not going to be as close. Hey, they have 32 points. That's exactly how much they scored. Our offense has been horrible the last two games. 10 points against the 49ers, 13 points here. Bad, 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 bad. Maybe. Across the middle, and he's decked. Incomplete. Why are we running two yard routes? Can we do something that's just not a two yard route? You get Baker, right side on the run, throws it out of bounds. Well, no, because we, we won a game that we were supposed to lose earlier. There's a nice catch by Beckham coming back to the football on the third and long. They're going to get a first down. Good play there. Beckham, four for 81 now in the game. Silly, silly, silly. Nice play. Rangers over there seems to What kind of plays are these? These are, these are not the plays from our playbook. This does not look like the same thing that Ruggs and Garrett Wilson and Austin Hooper were running. I just don't get it. Left side. He's got his man on the sideline. There's Beckham again. Another first down that puts Beckham real darn close to 100 yards in the game. Here's a delayed handoff to Nick Chubb. He's going to get eight. I didn't even think we had any of those in the playbook. Bunch formation to the right side. Brown's starting to run with a little bit more urgency here. Or not. Six seconds on the play clock before you snap it. That's fine. Across the middle. He's got his man. That's Taewon Taylor. Just hold on to the football, Taewon. He's down to the 30. Brown's finally driving a little bit here. Pass Baker across the middle. He's got his man. He's going to get decked and drops the football. Odell Beckham just decked on that hospital play across the middle. Lucky to get up walking from that one. Spin, throw it into weird single, very tight coverage for a two yard gain to Ricky Seals Jones. Third and eight. Three receivers. Chubb alone in the backfield. Two blitzers coming across the middle again. Taewon Taylor is going to get decked by Bobby Wagner. He's going to be short. Oh, yeah. His other guy's open. Not sure why we checked it off quite so soon. The blitz was coming, but you had time, Bakes. 
Bobby Wagner tried to decapitate Taewon. He was lucky to spin out of that play when he did. Otherwise, he probably would have lost his head. But they're short. Let's see if they go for it here. Fourth and one. Boston nope. Take the three game points. Game. Good idea. Stupid idea. Hey, he made a field goal. Get that thing down to a two score game. Good job, analytics. Uh, this one's frustrated me. This one's taken my life away here. I'm taking my energy, taking my zest. Yeah, that was a that was a mega concede. Even we were we're losing viewers. We were up at like 38. Now we're down to 27. They're like, well, Browns have thrown in the towel, so we should too. Seven oh nine left. If the Browns are going to try to do anything here, they got to get a pick six or a quick turnover or something. Something. Right up the middle, McKissick, he's going to run into Sheldon Richardson. Three yards. Letting that clock run all the way down between plays. Strong guy right side, they're going to go to Carson, he's going to get tripped up. Never. Thanks, McLovin, appreciate that. Well, I know, and I'm here to the end, too. I just... It's hard to get excited right now about the way our football team looks. In real life, they're going to be two and four after this game. In real life, in our sim, we're going to be three and three. So we're still a game ahead. And yes, we get the bye week next week, and then the schedule does get easier. So hopefully, we can squeeze out at least four more wins and beat that six and ten record. We gotta do something. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back in and reshuffle the game plans again. Maybe they've just got it super scouted. Of course, their seam routes wide open across the middle. He gets hit by one of our guys, but he doesn't drop the football. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Ed Dixon down the seam. Yep, we do get Hunt back. You're right, Sean. After week eight, we'll get Hunt back. It was, James, you're right, to get out of it. Get out of it, three and three. That's not a, a horrible way to start the season. Right side, wide open. Tyler Lockett hits hard, but holds on to the football. And it's definitely there. I check it every time. It's definitely the same playbook. And it's still the multiple zone scheme. Yeah, you're right, Sean. That's kind of where I'm at, too. I'm okay with the record. Okay with the record, but not the effort. Yes, if we had said worth, I mean, again, uh, it's the same defensive scheme that we ran since Joe Wood, since we started our Sims, the 49ers playbook with the 4-3 cover three scheme. We just don't have Fletcher Cox and Cameron Hayward. And Hogan Joby's not a superstar yet. I don't know, they're just finding big old gaps in our zone. We don't play a ton of man. The scheme is for everybody to play zone. Big hole on the right side, McKissick first down. Well, this was a pretty darn good put away drive. Oh, Oscar, welcome. Sorry, it's been a not a very fun football game. You haven't missed much, except pretty much every darn little weird Madden quirk that could have gone against the Browns has gone against the Browns. Today, that was a huge hole. Clinical, clinical here with the put away drive. Wasting time, and you're gonna put points on the board. Pete Carroll, good football coach. Russell Wilson, a good quarterback. What is he now, like 30 of 31 or something like that? Ripped down, Miles Garrett. They're going to get him for a TFL. 
Yes, the bloodbath of Madden hacks. But this is what it looked like before we went in. Maybe I do have to go re like change up the game plan again. Maybe it's smart enough to know that we run certain plays in certain situations now after six games or whatever. Right side, caught. Nice tackle in open space by Morgan Burnett. Get up there, Money Mitch. Third and goal. Play action. Russell Wilson, wide open, touchdown. Oh, and he's going to do the Chief Slam. Ed Dixon rubs it in her face. Stat Weasel, yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good, pretty fair assumption at this point, especially now. Thanks for watching the stream, though, Stat Weasel. He did, yeah. He, uh, he, like, Schobert blew the lot, the running back up so badly that it looked like Russell Wilson almost tripped on him, but then you saw his little X glow. He got his, he got his little X glowing, and he was able to evade the pressure. Uh, just put us out of our misery, please. Not our day at all. Gosh, so depressed. That was a very good put-away drive for the Seahawks. Hey, thanks, that weasel. I'm glad you've been watching them. That's fine. You don't have to be on the chat, but I'm glad that you're watching them. Long time listener, first time caller. We appreciate you. Um, yes, lots of weird things happening today. So I don't know. I'll go back in and reshuffle the game plan again, put some new plays in different situations. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Baker out of the shotgun, a buck 42 left. Probably a pick six coming, or just a sack right up the middle. Jaron Reed. Probably hey, still bad things happening to the Browns. There's Landry. He's going to get ripped down by. Has Bobby Wagner been in the zone the entire game since he had that pick? It feels like he's been glowing orange the entire game. Picked. Knew it. Shaquille. Is it Shaquille or Shaquem? Whichever one is the slightly older brother that has both hands. I don't remember if it's Shaquem or Shaquille. This certainly does look like we have quit. He threw that ball right to Griffin into three coverage. Yeah, he has been in the zone like all game. That's ridiculous. Look at that. He just stood there. Ball went right in his hands. Unreal. Just kneel, please. 29 of 31 for 375 and four touchdowns. What? 20. Just crazy. Yes, no, no, no. Yes, this is uh, this is not you, Stat. This is not you. I know that's the Browns fans' first. That's the first thing you think about as a Browns fan. I changed something, and therefore they sucked. But this one is not on you. Yeah, it is brutal being a fan, but we can't stop. I think brighter days are ahead when we get to 2020. I think we'll see a better looking football team. But right now, these last two weeks have been doo-doo. Seahawks come into Cleveland and thump the Browns. Three takeaways. 39 to 16, not even close. Uh, can't today, McLovin. I cannot today. We will do it again tomorrow. Week seven is the bye. And then we get to play the Patriots. They won that game 27 to 13. I can't today, guys. Can't do another. Look at that. 93.5% completion for Russell Wilson. That's not going to get it done. 36% not going to get it done. One. Look at that. Six for six in the red zone. Time of possession 39 to 20 or 38 to 22. That's not going to get it done. 
Ignore the stat breakdown. Yeah, I can't. I can't not do it. Baker, 23, 36, 274, 1 TD, 2 interceptions. Chubb still not getting enough handoffs, still fumbling for some reason. Beckham, only player who had a pretty decent day, I would say, actually. Schobert with 10 and Burnett with 10. Um, I don't know, Chris G. I didn't look at the ticker at the bottom, but I mean, this was a, like a 1 o'clock game, so I'm not sure. Look at Miles with four TFLs and two more sacks. He's got ten on the season. Yeah, look at solo ta or uh, assists there for Cybert. He was one for two. Gillen, three 55-yard bombs. So that's going to do it. We will check where we are at in the division here before signing off. Be safe, Browns fans. Indeed, Sean, really appreciate it. I know. I'm sorry. I can't do another one today. I invited my parents over for a barbecue, so I gotta we gotta clean up a little bit, and then they'll be over here. So that's gonna happen instead. Hey, Ricky Seals Jones, let's upgrade you with the vertical threat. Bang! Look at all those beautiful things getting better. All right. So the Browns are three and three in real life. They were. Two and four, so so far we're doing better. Yeah, we tried to do well against Russell Wilson. It didn't work. We tried to do well against. We tried to do well against uh, Bobby Wagner, but he is very good, so no XP going to those places. So we are three and three. We'll just go ahead and advance here to the bye. The Seahawks were four and one coming into that game. By the way, they're five and one now. Good football team, clearly. All right, so Bengals are four and two. Ravens did lose to the Bengals, so the Ravens are three and three. We're three and three. The Steelers are zero oh and six. Womp womp. Steelers suck. So that's where we're at. This is the bye week. So we'll get a little XP here, and uh, and then we'll bring you the Patriots game tomorrow. Luckily, the season gets a little bit easier. And hopefully we can take advantage of those 0-6 Steelers ourselves. Get a few more wins in the common game. We only need three to tie the season that the Browns did have. I think we can find three wins there. We've got that Broncos game, which was sort of the beginning of the end for Freddie Kitchens then. Um, of course, the Bills, Steelers, get the Bengals as well. So going to be pretty well. I can't wait for it either, Oscar. End of, end of August. We're in the month now. Happy August, everyone, too. Appreciate you watching. It's been fun as always. Thank you to my subscribers. We are over 300 now, which is just incredible. Thank you guys, everybody. Appreciate you telling your friends. We're going to try to keep it up, keep it going, and we'll see you tomorrow for another one. And as always, go Browns!